Hi there. I'm Erica, product manager at Sigma. Today, we're going to use Sigma to analyze millions of baby names over the last several decades to see which names are most popular. In doing so, you'll see how Sigma enables anyone to analyze massive data sets in mere seconds, live against the cloud data warehouse with no code required. Let's dig in. This visualization shows the top 10 names in the US every year since 1910. We're going to go from raw data to this analysis in two minutes. Sigma connects directly to Snowflake, BigQuery, Redshift, and Postgres cloud data warehouses. As soon as you create a connection, all of your tables are available in Sigma. You can preview your data and then click Create Worksheet when you're ready to start your analysis. This spreadsheet interface probably looks familiar, but it's far more powerful than any standard spreadsheet. We're analyzing 6 million rows of live data and have the power of SQL at our fingertips in Sigma's visual interface. We want to see the top 10 names by year, and with a few clicks, we can group these names by year and then by name. You can see that the spreadsheet has updated to reflect the groups we've created. We have the data for each name by state, but we want the total for each name per year, so we can aggregate our data using sum. I can create basic aggregates using our toolbar shortcut, and you can see it creates a new column for me with the formula sum. We can also create a new column at any level and type formulas into the formula bar. To get the most popular names, I can filter our name column and limit it to just the largest 10 values, which gets us our top 10 most popular names each year. With 100 years of data, I still can't find our big winner, so it's time to make a visualization. In the right panel, I can add a new chart and then choose the columns to graph. In a few clicks, I have a visualization. Looks like Robert spent a long time in the top 10 names. Now this is an interesting analysis, but I want to know about my name. I can turn off the ranking filter and add a name filter to show just Erica. The chart automatically updates, and I can see that my parents named me right at the peak of my name's popularity. Real creative. If I want to know more about name popularity, I'm not limited to the data in this table. I can easily join other data sources. For example, let's bring in some additional location data. This location data is all in JSON, but we can fix that. I can click Extract Data and get a preview of the available JSON columns. I'm going to pull out state name as well as latitude and longitude. You can see as I click, I'm getting a preview of all of the columns in my JSON. I now have additional data to continue to explore. But let's stop there for now, and let's take a look at how many lines of SQL Sigma has just written for us. With clicks and a few formulas, we've generated 100 lines of SQL. So, as you've seen, we've effectively modeled JSON, joined multiple data sources, analyzed a massive data set, and gotten the answers we need in less than three minutes using Sigma, all without writing a single line of code. And this is just a fraction of what Sigma can do. We didn't have time to go into dashboards, parameters, endorsements, and so many other awesome features. If you want to see how popular your name has been throughout history, you can try this exact analysis when you sign up for a free 14-day trial using the link on your screen. Once you're in a trial, just select the US name sample data to get started. Thanks for watching.